Good day. Welcome to First Take, exclusively on YouTube. Molly Karam here with Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith. Fellas, let's dive into a little NBA, shall we? Let's do it. All four California NBA teams were in action on Sunday. Despite LeBron and AD both having 25 and 15, the Kings beat the Lakers in OT behind 37 points from De'Aaron Fox. Meanwhile, Kawhi Leonard led all scorers with 21 points. The Clippers won by 40 against Wenby and the Spurs. Paul George shipped in with 19 points, 5 assists, and 5 steals. And Steph Curry hit four three-pointers in the fourth quarter as Warriors took care of the Rockets. Draymond Green had five rebounds, five assists in his season debut. As they tell me this, as you're out there in Cali, uh, which team is the best NBA team in the state of California? Wow, the best NBA team in the state of California. I think for the moment, we've got to give it to the Sacramento Kings. Um, I understand that, you know, they go up against the Warriors and the Warriors bested them in the first round last year, bested them in the season opener. But when you look at the totality of their performances during the regular season and the way they've come out and the way Darren De'Aaron Fox has elevated his level of play, considering the level of youth on his side and what have you, I look at the Sacramento Kings, particularly them, Shannon, just beating the Los Angeles Lakers with Anthony Davis and LeBron. James having such big games and I just say to myself yo this team is on the rise they're coming and if I had to pick a team where I think that they'll be standing you know as the season progresses I would look at the Sacramento Kings I'm still leery on the on the Warriors because I think they need additional size you know I don't trust that Anthony Davis is gonna give you your 65 games okay <laughs> and I damn sure don't trust Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to be healthy if all things were being equal that would be different the health and consideration and all of that stuff but considering what history has shown us, I'm just of the mindset. I'm going with the youth movement right now. I'm looking at the Sacramento Kings. It's just hard for me to pick against the Golden State Warriors. And I know they're undersized teams because the only size that they really have is Kevon Looney. I know they added Dario Saric at the, uh, this yep. offseason. Mm -hmm. But I just can't pick against Steph Curry. I just can't do it. I That's can't fair. do it. I can't. That's I fair. want to, but I can't. I see this man game after game after game, year after year after year. Still do it. I see him give 50 points in a closeout game, a game seven, and then come back, drop 40 opening day yeah. against against the uh, Sacramento Kings. Right. So right now, look, and he did the Kevin on, on, on uh, Dylan Brooks last night. I'm going with the Golden State Warriors. I will tell you this. I don't disagree with you if you're talking about the individual. If I, you had to tell me, Stephen A., you got a choice to pick a player, all right, that's going to come through for you, I'm rolling with Steph Curry. Yeah. I got you. But when I think about the youth of the Sacramento Kings and how they went through this experience, losing in a game seven, right. and then I'm thinking about questions. All right, do they have enough size? Is Klay Thompson going to be there? What about the depth? Will CP3 work with that second Coming unit well enough where Kaminga and Moody and these brothers are going to be able to make the contribution that you're looking for. I think those are legitimate questions. Are. When I think about AD, is he going to be six flags, Mr. Roller Coaster, mm -hmm. or is he going to show up consistency? Question mark. When I think about Kawhi and Paul George, we all know it would easily be the Clippers right. if these brothers showed up and they were they healthy. They might not play they 65 were healthy. games They might together. not play 60 games. There you go, okay? So I look at that, and those are the reasons I'm leading. And by the way, De'Aaron Fox, he's a star. He's a star. The brother is special. If, if Magic special. could do it over again, and he takes Jason Tatum, or he takes De'Aaron Fox. Listen, listen. I sat up there, and I, I've known Magic Johnson for over a quarter century. It is the only argument we've ever been in. I begged him, don't draft Lonzo. I said, this dude, De'Aaron Fox, is something special. First of all, Jason Tatum was that dude, but you needed a point, point guard. guard. I got Correct. it. Fine. But not Lonzo over De'Aaron. I saw what De'Aaron Fox did to Lonzo in the NCAA tournament. tournament when he dropped 38 on him. A, a college basketball player does not drop 38 in an NCAA tournament game. Right. But De'Aaron Fox did that right. on Lonzo Ball. I'm just saying, yo, De'Aaron De Fox has been special for a while. His leadership ability coming out of Kentucky, you just saw it. And he epitomized everything that the Lakers were supposed to be about, especially if you Irvin Magic Johnson, the phenomenal leader that he was, I thought De'Aaron Fox was the way to go. It's the only argument we've ever gotten into. Point guard that can score and shoot. That's right. And Hold that's on. him. 
real, real quick before we move on, Shannon, I thought you're a big, you know, LeBron fan, big AD, big Laker. I fan. am, but I ain't I'm jaded. They're not the best. Oh. They're not. They're not. They're not the best team right now. No. Uh. Uh. Well, uh -uh. I ain't gonna lie. I did think you was a little bit jaded. When nah. You nah. I did think you was uh, a little oh, bit no. jaded when it came oh, to Lakers. No, you know, no, you no, sat no, up no. there and bet me on national I, television. They gonna win the bet. Was gonna win, play 65 games. You gonna lose that by Valentine's Day. We three games in. Okay. We ain't got but 62 to go. Okay. It's good to know you're not jaded. L.A. didn't do that to you, Shannon. No, nah, uh, it will. It will. That's right. Be before we head out, Shannon, I know you're fired up about this. Check out this national anthem performance by Flavor oh, Flav ahead of the Hawks Flavor Flav on the national anthem? Lord have mercy. The bumpers sting in there. Gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, my Lord. Unfortunately, people in attendance wish they weren't. Was, was that, uh, like, serious? I, 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 it, it was serious. No, like, he that was, you know, that was but serious. But he like, wasn't bad as Fergie. He wasn't bad as Fergie. Okay, okay. I you don't remember Fergie. But that's not saying so anything. Just Shannon, because you weren't bad as someone what was doesn't... Fergie? I forget. That was so long ago. I don't really How about even awful? remember. How about just awful? Awful. And just, just stop right there. Yeah, just, you don't have to go any further than that. But my point I is this. I got to Google it. I, I, listen, listen. That was in Milwaukee, right? That was yeah, in Milwaukee, yeah. right? First class organization. My man Barry Baum is there. Promotes them better than anybody on the planet. We get all of that. I want to know who was the person that said, let Flavor Flay <laughs> yes. sing the <laughs> national yeah. anthem. Yeah. The yeah. guy that said MF him and John Wayne, because I'm black and I'm proud. I, I'm that dude, and I love me some Flavor Flay. But the national anthem and Flavor Flay, it's not a what? What? Stephen A., do you think it was that bad? You, yeah. you got to hear it. You yeah. got to hear the whole thing. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. that bad. Yeah. Th th I mean... You, you, this is a national was that anthem. horrible? This and it's is the not national either, anthem. The you national don't anthem do not that. Easy, it's not an easy thing to say. I will say this to you. Nobody was worse than Carl Lewis. Ah! <laughs> Nobody was worse than Carl Lewis. Nobody was worse than Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis. I mean, I still see my brother Derek Coleman laughing. Yes, and it's yes. 30 years later. I still see Derek Coleman laughing and biting his jersey in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Well, and how awful. Bad Do you know that Carl Lewis was so bad? He said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me start. Yeah, yeah, let me start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was bad. Yeah, was bad. That was bad, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now, that's, that's just yeah, Flav, horrible. Flav wasn't that bad. Flav wasn't that bad. Flav wasn't bad as Fergie. Okay. But okay. it was still, just because you're not the worst yes. doesn't mean your performance wasn't bad. Okay. All right. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yes. Well put. All right, guys. Lord have mercy. Shannon, flavor Flav. I say you have a fabulous Who comes up day with Flavor Flav for I'll the National you. Anthem? Good morning. Not a hype. If you're going to you get the Milwaukee Bucks coming out, you're going to get them hype? No. Flav, you got him. That's right. He's a hype man. You're not supposed oh. to be getting somebody hyped for the national anthem. All right, shout out to our producer, Quaco. The fellas like that one, clearly. Bye, guys. It's over the segment. Uh -huh.